Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy LaSavage here with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at this new dual archetype system for NBA 2K18 and what the best uh, playing styles and best archetypes combined for each position will be. So for point guard, obviously playmaker is going to be an overpowered. Well, I don't know if it's going to be as OP as it was this year, like dribble moves and everything. Like, I'm sure they really patch that down and same with the speed. So playmaking, playmakers might still be good, but just not as good as they were in 2K17. So obviously, um, I'd like to have like the playmaking ability in my point guard and probably also with like a shot creator or a sharpshooter just so you have the ability to dribble the ball and pass the ball as well as, as good as a playmaker and so you're able to shoot the ball as well and i don't know what if like what how they're gonna do this with badges like if you're gonna have 10 upgradable badges but um on it we we won't know until the day 2k comes out and i just can't wait for that so either a shot i think shot creator would be better with the playmaker because you are dribbling and you don't have time for standing shots so if you're dribbling you know you break the guy's ankles or whatever you're dribbling and then you like step back you know shot off dribble would be better or your step back as shot a sharpshooter um really i either either one is really really good it's just i would rather have that playmaker as like the primary and then one of these as this next is shooting guards really the same thing as uh the point guard but what i feel like the best dual archetype i'm not going to do playmaker playmaking or sharpshooter again actually i am doing sharpshooting again but this is going to be a slasher sh uh sharpshooter mix i would have the sharpshooter as the primary and slashing as in the slasher as the secondary archetype this because slashers their dunks and layups the contact animations are op for them and that with a sharpshooter combined i just can't even imagine all the cheese that's going to be in my perk next year it's going to be absolutely crazy i think this is going to be a really really good archetype this would probably even be better at point guard but i'm just putting together different archetypes for each position so <clears throat> This is going to be a really OP, I, I might even make one of these, a sharpshooter slasher. That would be pretty good. All, but you can never go wrong with a sharp creator sharpshooter. The shooting on that guy would be absolutely outstanding. You'd have an amazing three-point mid-range and an amazing shot off dribble. The agility on that would be fine. Your playmaking wouldn't be the best, but it really all depends what you do as your primary. So... For shooting guard though, I think I'd do slasher sharpshooter. That's it's up to me. You guys let me know what you guys would do in the comments. And now on um, And now next for small forwards, obviously has to be the point forward. It's almost exactly like just a bigger playmaker, so that agility that agility and that playmaking at this height is key, or else if you choose anything else, you're just like a big man that's small so you need this ability to like dribble and sh and uh dribble passing this agility at this height is key and the shooting on this guy on the point forward is not bad at all the exact same as the playmaker just exact all this is is a point forward not a point forward all this is is a playmaker at a bigger height and i would obviously have this as my primary and i would have my secondary my secondary archetype as post score i choose a post score because you know you are a bigger a bigger player so if you're going up against a guard just posting them up and you're post scoring your shot off dribble would just not off sh not shot off dribble like your post moves would just be op you just post those little guys up because as a point forward you will mostly go up either against other point forwards or or other uh what's it called or other playmakers or smaller guards so post scoring in your height would just take advantage against those little guys or again you could or you can just use sharpshooter but i want to try to use different archetypes so you can go sharpshooter point forward but i 
think point forward and post score would be uh, it would be good on defense as well. But you could see your shooting isn't the best. But we never know. They could have changed it for 2K18. Again, we'll... now for point forward for power forwards and centers, it's kind of good. It's basically going to be the same. But again, I'm going to try to switch these archetypes up. So my primary. Arc, uh, my primary archetype would obviously be stretch big just for that shooting so you'd have a, a really good shot at this like to, as your guys getting bigger so you'd be like six eight i believe is the smallest like seven two so your shooting is key at this height because all you could really do at this height is rebound so having a shot is really good to have so this at my primary archetype and at my second archetype I would have either glass cleaner or no I don't think I'd have glass cleaner glass clean no I'd have stretch big and post scoring so it really would all depend on what your height is if you're a uh, max height power forward I would probably go post scoring so you could rebound better because the stretch big defense is not the best so having this, um, the defense from the post score and the post moves, I think would be really, really good. So again, it, you could use that as your primary so you'd have better post scoring and have your stretch big as your secondary just so, you're, so you, your shot is there and you have the primary defense of your post score. Really, it's all up to you guys. Again, I'm just trying to use different archetypes. You guys and last but not least, the center position and I just think this is going to be absolutely OP and this is the athletic finisher glass cleaner combo so I think I'd put athletic finisher as primary and glass cleaner as secondary just because you know the rebounding on this is really really amazing obviously but you still have the rebounding of an athletic finisher it does go that it is that low but it is still really good it is still 12 upgrades so still having that glass cleaner upgrade behind it is really amazing and that's really all a glass cleaner can do it's either rebounding strength and the defending is really good but look at the defending on it's both no it's three upgrades higher on the on the glass cleaner so really your defense is the same so the defense on this uh, center is going to be really really good and just imagine the rebounding and the shot off dribble and the layups and dunks and even the agility that an athletic finisher has all imagine that with the strengths of a glass cleaner i just think that'd be really amazing and if the badges are together as well like if you have 10 upgradable badges i just think this would be the most dominant center in the game this is probably what i'm gonna make i'm gonna stay a center in 2k18 still don't know what i'm gonna make either a stretch cleaner that's another great center too a stretch cleaner the shoot i would have my stretch as my secondary i think just so i have the defense of a glass cleaner as primary but i'm i'm really considering this one as well for sure i'm making a center though let me know in the comments what you guys are making for 2k18 i'm again probably staying a center and um yeah so let me let me know what you guys are making. It's been your boy Le Savage. Please drop a like, subscribe if you're new. It's been your boy Le Savage.